Dates is the topic tonight. It's Saturday night. I don't have a date. I'm home, so I'm making a video about dates. But not just dates, but Megan and dates. And why I see a problem there, okay? So, okay, so let's go back to Morocco. So they land in Morocco and um, they're greeted by the welcoming committee and they're taken into the, uh, the, the VVV, VVV VIP lounge um, and were offered um, what looked like some dairy in a bowl like uh, buttermilk or something and a huge platter, beautiful platter of um, dates, medjool dates. Now, from what I read, uh, dates uh, come from Morocco. I think it's I think that's the country that just where they exploded out from. They were they were um, the seeds were taken to many parts of the world, and uh, California is another um, huge uh, date growing area, um, and in fact, at this point, really competes with Morocco where the dates come from, okay, the medjool dates, which I love to eat, and I also buy them at Whole Foods. Sometimes I get them at Trader Joe's, but anyways, I love dates, right, and they're really good for you. In fact, um, look at them, delicious, okay, full of energy, which I understand if you're traveling and you're tired, you want to eat a date because it will just rev you right up. So I can understand why they offered Prince Harry and Meghan dates when they arrived. They just got off the plane, so it's the thing to do. And they're awesome. And for the Moroccan people, I looked it up. Moroccan symbols of palm dates. What does it mean for the Moroccan people? Does it have any religious meaning for them? You see, this is important. When you're offered something, they're not just offering you just some random stuff they bought at their local uh, grocery store. No. The, this has meaning for these people and when you refuse to eat something that they offer you or at the very least take it into your hand you don't have to eat it you can just take it uh, because that is a sign of acceptance um, um, and good and good faith goodwill you're representing the queen right okay so they're the rich, rich source of fiber, potassium, and calcium, which helps keep the body healthy. For a pregnant woman, this is wonderful. Why wouldn't you want to eat one, right? Um, so for the Moroccans, it's a symbol of abundance, uh, a popular Ramadan staple native to the Middle East, and the Prophet Muhammad used to advise eating them while breaking the fast. So this has great significance for these people. And here she comes, refusing to even take one. There he goes, there goes the foodie. The foodie that we know and love. Okay, let me just slow this down a touch. All right, and just take it back a touch again, all right. He goes, reaches in with the right hand. I read somewhere, I don't know, that's, that's really, that's what they do. You, they don't eat with the left hand, they eat with the right. So he says, this guy, I don't know who he is, right? He says to Megan, these are the best. They're giving her the best dates. The king eats the best dates in the land. The best, he says. You must try one. She says, oh, no, thank you. I insist, please. And she refuses again. <sighs> ay, ay, ay. Doesn't the Pope wear a red thing like that? I'm done. She has no manners, and Harry should have told her, you know, Megan, you need to. This is what you need to do. You don't have to eat it, but you got to take one. Like, come on, Harry, help her, because she really doesn't know. Harry, in my opinion, should have schooled Megan. 
uh, should have prepared her and coached her better for this. I have a feeling he doesn't do that enough. He knows what to do. Um, and he goes in and eats with the right hand, which I understand is a custom that um, people in Morocco do. And, and uh, she doesn't take a date, which is an insult. You don't have to eat it, but you take it. It's a gesture. And um, it's what kind people do. It's what nice people do. And for someone who's been described by her peers in the press as nice, this kind of uh, rebuff is, uh, it just doesn't jive with what everyone's saying about her. And I always say actions speak louder than words. So Megan is a self-proclaimed foodie. She used to have a blog called The Take where she um, she had named it after her favorite wine, and um, and she talked about traveling and food and, you know, living the fine jet-set life. Um, so, yeah, so for a self-proclaimed foodie who loves to cook, who loves to travel and try foods from other countries, um... It surprises me greatly that um, she um, refuses and rebuffs uh, food that is offered to her um, when she is traveling on an official visit uh, representing the queen. Um, and uh, she does not partake in traditional um, food offerings. Um, when she went on her trip to Australia with uh, her husband here, she refused to eat one traditional item, just one item. What is it about? <laughs> Right. Oh, those girls are. <laughs> I don't like mm -hmm. Yes, Megan, you look great. <laughs> Okay, so yeah. you see now Harry is interested. You see, Harry is the foodie. He is the real foodie. Megan is not a real foodie. She pretends to be, but she's not. She 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 didn't even reach in to taste. A foodie, a true foodie, tastes. She says it's good, but she didn't even try it. Smelling is just not enough. You gotta taste it. So, anyway, so supposedly she just did not want to eat the food. Okay. Um, what was it that they offered her? I'm not even sure. Uh, food lover Megan? I don't know. You see, but Prince Harry went straight in. He's the foodie, guys, not her. Um, oh, finger limes. There we go. Finger limes. I've eaten those. They're great finger limes. You can find them at Whole Foods. And I know she shops there, so whatever. Anyway, she should have eaten that.